Well, good day, everybody. This is Andre Knott, host of BlankCanvasTV.com, and we are changing the way people see and experience art right here on this show because we're right here in New York City, and it is the capital of the art world. And there's a reason why it's the capital of the art world, and I want to tell you all about it in this episode this afternoon because we're standing right here in the front in front of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is one of the most famous museums in the world. In fact, right now it's got Vermeer's masterpiece, The Milkmaid, right there on display. Play. It's a magnificent museum. It's got an incredible impressionist collection as well. But right here on BlankCanvasTV.com, we're here to teach and give you a bit of a more, more of an understanding about the art world and just talk a little bit about the history of the art world as well. But let's talk about and focus on today why, in fact, America is the capital of the art world. A lot of the big auction sales happen here in New York City at Christie's and Sotheby's Auction House. Phillips is another one. But auctions have been happening for many hundreds of years and they've been happening all over the world, particularly in Europe. Why has New York City in fact become the capital of the art world? A lot of people when they talk about or think about the capital of the art world, they think about Paris, they think about Rome, these very, very traditional centres of the art world. Well, that has not been true for a long time, in fact, since the Second World War. And it is in fact because of the Second World War that that is the case. But you cast your mind back to the Renaissance, back to the time of Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, all these big masters of the Renaissance and focus back at that time and why that was then the capital of the art world. That was because uh, the popes essentially were in charge and they had all the money of the, of the Christian church had all the money to be able to spend on these big masterpieces. Also the Medici's, it was also the capital of the Renaissance. Move your mind forward into the Baroque and it was in fact the Netherlands, in fact Holland and the Dutch masters were dominating the art world and the Dutch guild was dominating dominating the state of play over there in Europe. But then you cast your mind forward a little bit further to the uh, late, 18th, late 19th century, the middle of the 19th century, late 19th century, and you had all of a sudden this very, very uh, bohemian type of art coming, up, coming about. The photographic camera had come about, and all of a sudden you had the Impressionists who were starting to define and change the fa face of the art world altogether. And that was obviously Paris, and that was the capital of the art world at that time. But you move your mind forward into the 19, 1915, 1920 or thereabouts, all of a sudden Europe had been ravaged with war. In fact, all a lot of the main masters of that time from Russia, from uh, eastern parts of Eastern Europe, uh, as, as Europe was a battlefield, uh, you already had this, this kind of down -tread treading I sent, essentially of the European art community and a lot of the artists were seeking refuge in other parts of the world. Well, Where was the easiest place to go apart from Europe at that time? It was the United States. So you had this, this, this kind of movement of art across to the United States in the 20s. The Museum of Modern Art in New York City and 53rd Street down the road from us here actually sprung up as the first muse modern art museum in the world and then you had a lot the Guggenheim and the Guggenheim family actually right up the road from us right here uh, actually doing a lot of work with Kandinsky and a lot of the modern masters of the modern movement. Modern art got its real start right here. It got its start in Europe but it got its actual actual push right here in New York City and uh, throughout the roaring 20s as, as Europe as the whole world but particularly the United States started getting rich all of a sudden you had this opportunity for the art world to flourish in this part of the world. But what you want, might want to understand about the art world as well is that right here at the Second World War, the turn of the, of the Second World War, it turned the tide forever. All of a sudden you had New York City becoming the capital because major ma masters, particularly Jewish masters, started coming across to New York, New York City to seek refuge away from the Second World War. I'll tell you what, we're getting rained on by the elements here. I guess that's uh, essentially the reason why, but throughout the 1940s and right throughout the 1960s, 70s, 80s, all of a sudden that part of the world became, this part of the world became the capital of the art world as well. We're going to get out of the elements. I'll tell you what, hope you enjoyed this episode of BlankCanvasTV.com. Leave your comments. We'll talk to you another day. Stick around. We'll have lots more episodes to come.